Hello, ladies. Come on out. Enjoy the day. Come on. Well, good morning, Homestead family. We've enjoyed our chickens for over three years and uh, we've raised these chickens all the way from one day old chicks. And uh, there comes a time with these uh, laying hens, after three years, they will start to um, stop laying. And at that point, they're what you call spent. And one of the dark sides of homesteading is you do get attached to these animals that you're raising you care for them every day from you know from this big up to that and there comes a point where you have to uh, process out the old and bring in the new and that's hard that's hard for me that's hard for i think anybody <coughs> excuse me <coughs> the um the chickens are fully mature fully grown time to take them over and process them and uh, really we've never really enjoyed eating these birds even though they're dual birds they don't really cook up good after they get old like that but uh, what we tend to do with them is um, process them and make dog food out of them so Bing Bing's never liked the chickens he's insanely jealous of them to start with so I guess you could say Bing Bing gets the last laugh on this one so um, we're gonna process these birds out, get them into the freezer, and have them for uh, Bing Bing's dog food. And in the meantime, we've ordered some new chickens, little baby chicks that'll be coming in this week, and we'll uh, take them over to the brooder, and we'll start the whole process over again. I thought you might like to tag along and uh, look at our new flock. We've got some new, um, some new uh, breeds that we're bringing in, introducing, and uh, kind of a, exciting time and a sad time at the same time <laughs> so um we'll be back this week we've already got the we've already got the chick chicks baby chicks ordered so they should be here in the next couple of days and as soon as they come in we'll go over to the brooder and take a look at the babies and we'll call them kind of follow them along until they grow up and feather out until we can bring them over here and get them into the chicken yard and along the way, what I wanna do is kinda of clean up the chicken yard a little bit. I want to uh, um, re-sow some seed out here. As you can see, the chickens have picked it clean. There's, there's not a stitch of green out here. So we'll um, put in some new, um, we'll put in some new ground cover, like some clover and things like that. I've got a whole bunch of leftover seeds that, that I was, you know, in the vegetable garden, I take those leftover seeds that are suitable for them to eat and I'll sow them out here and let them get going as well. And by the time I get all that growing out here, the pullets, there'll be pullets at that point, they'll be ready to come on out of the, uh, out of the grow pen over there and we'll introduce them out here and they can have something to forage with. So it's gonna be kind of a, a sad week and a happy week at the same time. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this little journey with us with our new flock of chickens. Let's get started. Well, we got our first shipment of uh, little baby chicks in today, mm -hmm. and these are the black Australorp. So we still have two more shipments of different chickens coming, but today is uh, the first day for these. So let's take a look at these little guys. Mm -hmm. They're the one that makes the chocolate color eggs, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look forward to that. Oh, they're so adorable. Oh, look at them. 
go. Oh, they're so cute. You guys are so cute. You are. Look at that beast. Aww. <laughs> yeah. They're adorable. They're pretty. They are. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, yeah. you little cutie pie. Okay, let's get them to drinking. That's uh -huh. the first thing I want to do is make sure they get something to drink. Mm -hmm. And then we'll teach them how to eat something. Okay. Okay. You take the first one right here. I like to stick their beak right in that water. Stick it right down in there. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next thing I like to do is sprinkle a little bit of, of the feed out here. And they'll start to eat. Once one figures it out, the rest of them pretty much follow suit. See, he's already figured it out. It's in the little feeder. Okay, we'll be back in a few days when the next shipment comes in and uh, we'll unbox them and introduce them to their little sisters here. So, <laughs> we'll see you in a couple days. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> they're they're not being ex, ex, uh, what you call friendly. They're being kind of standoffish. But you, you give this another week, and uh, <laughs> it'll be like they never knew the difference. So we'll be back in a couple of more days. I got uh, three more chickens coming. Um, they are the white leghorns, so we'll be adding those to the little flock here mm -hmm. and uh, looking forward to seeing them. So, see you back in a couple days. Well, welcome back, friends. We finally got our last order of chickens in. The, the last shipment came in, mm -hmm. and these are the, the white leghorns. So now we've got all the birds. They're, they're ranging, you know, anywhere from one to three weeks apart in age um, because of the shipping. So that that's not the best, but it's not no big deal either, really. Uh, remember, we were talking about they go through the three stages of... Um, rejection, tolerance, and then acceptance. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> these little guys are gonna get some rejection right at first and they'll be greatly outnumbered by the rest of the flock, but within a week they'll be at the acceptance level. So we, the sooner we get them started, the sooner they can work through that socialization uh, period. So let's take a look at them up close and we'll get them drinking a little bit of water and get them mixed in with the rest of the birds. Mm -hmm. All right, here we are. Oh, they're so adorable, too. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Look at them. Aww. We got a little bit of a, uh, of a, a yellow. yellow color to them right now, but oh. they will turn completely white as that's they so mature. Right. <laughs> right, let me get them a little bit of water, and uh, we'll get them going in there. Teach them how to drink and let them learn how to feed. All right. Well, good. She drank got a little bit of drink right there. And right there. Mm -hmm. They are quite small compared to the rest of them. There you go. Well, there we go. We got all the new flock baby chickens. All the biddies are now in the brooder and um, warm and happy. And uh, we'll be back in the days ahead and we'll watch them as they grow all the way out into the day. We can uh, introduce them to the, um, to the big new chicken yard. So mm -hmm. we'll see you soon. Well, good morning. Well, it's been about two weeks since the last time we touched base with you. And if you remember these little white leghorns, they were received late in our shipping. So they're about three weeks younger than all the rest of the chickens. So these were the babies and the runts of the litter. So um, 
what we did is we transferred all the other chicks over into the pullet grow out pen a couple of weeks ago and we left these these guys in there for two weeks to try to feather out a little bit better and get a little bit bigger and as you can see yeah see they've, they've got some feathers now they're, they're still a little bit fuzzy but they're getting to where they're pretty feathered out good enough to move them over to the uh, pull it grow out pen so this guy here this is the uh, white leghorn and we only have four of them so uh, we're going to load them up in this little uh, pet carrier Oops. and uh, we just take them over to the pull it pen mm -hmm. and uh, introduce them to their new environment much larger area for them to run and play in but now they've got to go through that uh, getting acquainted period again with the rest of the flock. Uh, being gone for two weeks, they, they will reject them just a little bit for a couple of days. Then they'll start to tolerate them. And then finally, by the end of the week, they'll be in the acceptance uh, stage with them. So let's take them over there and get them started. Well, we got the little leghorns over in the pull-up pen with all the other ones, and boy, they sure look small compared to the rest of them, don't they? They do, they really do. But they didn't have any trouble. They took right to the pull-up pen and loved it. I think they're mm -hmm. really glad to get out of that small brooder over there. Yeah. <laughs> but the other uh, chickens are doing pretty good. They're growing real quick as well. So mm -hmm. we'll be back in the days ahead, and uh, we'll, we'll come back in about 30 days, and we'll take another look at the at the chickens and uh, see how big they're starting to get and and they're actually starting to show some of their colors so we'll be back soon mm -hmm. Well, welcome back, friends. Our baby chickens are now right at about three months old, and they're really starting to put on some really good colors in their feathers. You're starting to see the different breeds and how beautiful they look. And I thought today we would just uh, take a look at uh, how they're looking at this at this stage. I'm going to feed them some mealworms and give them a little treat today. I'm starting to introduce them 
to other things besides the regular um, chick starter feed and I'm uh, feeding them some vegetable material and some mealworms and things like this periodically just to get them used to something besides that. And as you can hear, uh, the roosters are starting to uh, develop some vocal cords and singing some songs. So let's go in here and take a look and uh, see what they're looking like right now. And uh, look forward to the days ahead. They got about, probably about another another three or four weeks here in the grow out pen and then we'll move them over to the uh, chicken yard and we'll introduce them to the chicken coop. So let's check them out. Hello ladies. Got y'all a little treat this morning. Thought you might like some mealworms. Well, the girls pretty much enjoyed them uh, mealworms this morning for a little treat, and uh, they are growing beautifully. And uh, we'll be back in about four weeks, and we'll take these girls out of this little grow pen and head right over to the uh, hen house and uh, introduce them to the chicken coop and let them uh, get used to that new surrounding. So we'll be back in about four weeks. See you then.
Well, welcome back, friends. It's been about a month since the last time I talked to you and uh, gave you an update. A couple days ago, me and Nancy, we came out here and we harvested up and processed out all the old spent chickens and we got them in the freezer. Gonna make some wonderful chicken stock and bone broth and chicken and dumplings and, you know, 90% mm -hmm. of it's gonna bake dog food for Bing Bing. <laughs> <laughs> so, but uh, anyway, we got the chickens out of the mm -hmm. out of the chicken yard and uh, we went out there and cleaned up the yard and planted and sowed some seed, you know, for the uh, for them to forage with and that should be up in about three weeks for them to eat and um, cleaned out the chicken coop, got some new pine shavings in it, washed it off walls all down, so everything nice and clean for them. So today we're going to take all the pullets that are in here, uh, they're about four months old now, and uh, we'll move them over and transfer them over to the chicken yard, and we'll keep them inside the chicken coop for at least a couple of weeks till they get used to it, and then uh, we'll turn them out in the yard and let them roll. So you about ready to, for today's entertainment? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get started. That's about enough for the first load. They're pretty upset. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take this first load over there and get them in. We'll come back and get the rest. So let's roll. Well, we got the job done. Mm-hmm, yep. All, all the girls are a little bit mad at me right now, but we got them in here and they seem to be taken to it pretty good. They're pretty happy. Mm -hmm. They're walking around smelling and pecking, so they're, they're checking out their new area. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back in about a couple of weeks. We'll give them time to get used to their new hen house here and learn that this is safety and this is home and uh, they belong here and once we do that then we'll open the little chicken door over there so they can come in and out as at will and uh, return to it at night when it starts to get dark so it's all part of the process so we'll be back in a couple of weeks and we'll watch how they explore the outside see you then Well, welcome back, friends. Our chickens are 18 weeks old today, and they've been over here in the little chicken coop now for 17 days, so they're definitely ready to uh, come out of the coop and experience the outside world. You know, when we, we first brought them over 17 days ago out of the 
pull it grow out pen and we brought them in here it was kind of roomy and big and new and exciting for them and they kind of liked it but after about a week <laughs> they start doing some complaining and they're ready to come out so they start arguing you see some of the roosters fighting with each other it's just they they need some elbow room so um Today I'm going to be pulling them out of the, the chicken pen, out of the chicken coop, and introducing them out to the yard itself. Um, these chickens typically take 18 to 22 weeks to start laying eggs, and our chickens are really only about 18 weeks old right now. But the last flock that we had, they started um, laying at about the 26 week mark. Point. So I figure I got probably another four to six weeks before we see an egg and I'll be glad when I see some because I've been missing my eggs and just I can't bring myself to pay the price they're asking at the grocery store for an egg. I just we can't we can't afford it anyway so we just ain't gonna do that. So anyway we're looking forward to some eggs in four to six weeks and we'll you know, follow this video right on out till we get some. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, I, I laid out some, uh, some some seed, remember, last time I talked to you, and that seed has um, germinated. It's starting to grow. I got three pretty good areas done, and actually some of it is um, still trying to come up. I, I couldn't reach it with the water hose, but the the rain's starting to hit a little bit, so it's starting to uh, germinate. But this area right here is looking pretty good, and there's a big area over behind the um, uh, chicken feed shed. It, it's got plenty of stuff coming up in there. It looks really pretty and green and healthy looking. And then, of course, over here in front of the coop underneath the um, shade cloth, that's all doing really really nice so they've got three real good areas out here to um, forage in they just don't really know how yet but um, that's a good thing about these chickens uh, that that's instinct to them it's instinctive so as so, soon as we put them out here they'll start exploring and scratching around and learning how to forage and, and that's pretty good for them so anyway, we got all the forage areas ready. The, the chickens are ready to go out. Um, I, went, I need to go over here and uh, remove my little temporary piece of plywood that I blocked up the uh, chicken door. I got an automatic chicken door, remember? So I, I just put a piece of plywood over there to block it until I'm ready to let them out. You know, it'll go up and down every day until uh, we're ready to let them out, but they can't go past the plywood. So <laughs> I'll take the plywood off and uh, they should be able to walk out. And uh, it'll take them a few minutes to get used to it. I'll, I'll have to go in here and force some of them out, out of the little uh, chicken door. I, maybe I'll grab a couple of roosters and try to force them to come outside. Uh, I've found in the past if I grab a couple of roosters and take them out, and get them out there, they kind of lead the way. I don't want to start off with a hen because the hens are a little more timid, a little more scared of new things. But if they see the rooster out there and they hear the rooster talking and communicating with them, which they do, these uh, hens will feel more safe and inclined to come on out and see just what in the world is going on outside. They're curious too. So, um, Let's go ahead and uh, get the, uh, the temporary block off of the chicken door and let's go ahead and start forcing some of these um, chickens out into the outside out here. And it'll take them uh, a couple hours to get used to it and calm down. And that's why I'm thinking it's going to take me about another, you know, four to six weeks before they lay because they're not quite ready yet. But after I put them out here, that stresses them out and they, you know, it takes them a couple of weeks to get used to things and calm down and settle down. And uh, once that happens, then, you know, the natural process begins. So let's go get some of this stuff on the road and get these chickens out of that uh, chicken coop and have some breakfast.
Well, that was the first thing I needed to do is get the feed and the water out here under the uh, shed because uh, they no longer will eat or drink inside the chicken coop, so they'll have to be forced to eat outside, and uh, they'll, they'll adapt to that very quickly. Um, chickens normally don't eat or drink once they go on a roost at night, so um, moving it out here is really no big deal for them. Um, when they go into the roost at night now, they will go in there to sleep, not to feed. So it's time to open the door. Let's see if we can't push some on my side. Okay, ladies, today's the big day. Y'all ready to go outside and see some things? Oh yeah, you're gonna like this. You're gonna be mad at me for a few minutes, but I think you'll get over it. So let me uh, knock this out of the way so y'all can go on out. Okay, he put up quite a fight. <laughs> you see, you're outside. Uh, you would be the brave hero You should teach all the other ladies that uh, this is a nice place that they're gonna like it, okay? So you wanna go down here and check things, check it. That is for you. Let me go cram one through the door over here so they realize that's the, the entrance and exit. Well, I finally got them all out, and of course, they didn't make that none too easy. There's got a bunch of them are all bunched up over there behind the chicken coop, all in the corner, which is what chickens do when they're scared, they'll end up in a corner. But anyway, I'm just gonna leave them alone for a few hours and let them just explore, sniff around, scratch around. I put these out here in the open on purpose so they wouldn't run over there with the rest of them. So if they'll uh, kind of just take to it, I would say in a few hours, they're gonna act like they've been out here all along. So what I'm gonna do is just let them relax, quit stressing them out anymore. They've been through a lot today. And we'll be back in a, uh, about three or four days and we'll take another look at how they're doing. We'll see you then.
Well, welcome back, friends. It's been 14 days since the last time I talked to you, and the, uh, the chicken girls have been through a lot. It's been a tough 14 days for them. What, uh, to bring you up to speed, what had, uh, had, had happened since the last time I talked to you, uh, we, we let them out of the house, and they were doing, uh, they had a real happy day. They really loved it. And uh, that night, um, I, we were hoping they would go right on back into the house. And uh, we saw a few of them going in to their chicken coop for the evening. So we thought, well, the rest of them will follow suit. But next day I came out and they didn't. Only th three or four of them went in the chicken coop and the rest of them got up on top of our little work table over here that we have out here for um, cleaning vegetables and stuff that we feed them and they decided to make that their roost. So <laughs> I had to go get a couple of saw horses and some tarps and some netting, and I tried to block off the uh, top of the table and uh, encourage them to go back into the house instead of roosting on top of the table. So the next day I came out here and they didn't go in the house again. They went into the uh, palmettos that I got out here and we have two real big sets of palmetto bushes because it provides a uh, cover for the chickens whenever they're scared. They can run into them palmettos and they get away from anything that's chasing them or scaring them, such as a hawk. So um, they got up in the, in the palmettos instead of going in the house. And if, uh, if we had a filmed me and Nancy coming out here, couple of old people trying to catch up 23 chickens that would have been some good entertainment we are definitely too old for that but uh, we could not get them we tried and tried we, and we got all of them but about there was about seven or eight of them still out so we got them back into the chicken coop and we shut the door and we blocked it off again and we were gonna leave them in there another couple of two or three days to start over and so the next day we came out here and I had to get out the chainsaw and cut down all the palmettos out here so I could get those remaining girls. I finally got them. It took us, you know, several hours, but we got it done. We got them back in to the chicken coop and uh, where they were safe. Um, we said, okay, things are going great. Uh, we came out and uh, uh, a couple, about three, three days later, we opened the door. We didn't push anybody out. We just let them mingle out and Miran, you know, meander along and just come out one by one. And uh, they eventually did. So that went well. The next that night, they they went back into the chicken coop. And what I did was I left the light on in the nesting room, not in the roost, but over in the nesting room so they could see that little light coming through their little chicken door and it started to get dark, they went one by one right on back in. So we said, okay, I think we're off and running. So we came out the next day and they did it again. And uh, that afternoon, um, I came out to check on the chickens and a hawk swooped down and believe it or not, flew through the little chicken door and nailed one of our chickens right at the, um, in the chicken coop and drugged the little girl out here and <laughs> tore her up, you know. So we were heartbroken and I said, there's nothing I can do about that. So uh, what we did is we took them and we put them back into the chicken coop and we left them in there for three more days where they could calm down from the trauma and um, we, we started the process again. So they started coming out in the mornings, little by little, and going back in the evening. I haven't seen the hawk out here for several days now, so I think we're probably okay. That's the second chicken I've lost to a hawk in the last um, five years, so it's not that bad of a uh, ratio, I guess. But. They're doing better. They, uh, this week, they have been coming in and out of the chicken coop very well. They're getting more used to me coming out and putting out the scratch and bringing them a little treat. Um, they're still very skittish because they're young 
and um, they've been through quite a bit of trauma. So they're still kind of traumatized, but they're warming up to me little by little, and especially to Nancy, because every time they see her come out here, she, she brings them a little something they like. So anyway, the chickens are off and running. They're, uh, I think we're through all of the uh, challenges that we've had. And um, these, these palmettos that you see back here, they will grow back in no time, believe me. <laughs> you, you can't kill these things off. So in the spring, these will ex just explode right back out and it provides an excellent cover for them. So if something scares them, they can run in here or they can run inside the chicken coop. They've also got some gaps underneath the, uh, the feed shed over here. They can run under that deck pretty easily too. So they've got places to escape. They just need to get a little more mature and learn how to do that. <laughs> and they're doing that. So we'll be back in the days ahead. We'll take another look at the girls and uh, hopefully by then they'll be laying some eggs and we'll, we'll take a look at what the egg production's looking like and uh, about, so about three months from now. It's real cold right now. I'm, I'm about to freeze, so I want to get out of here and go get by the fireplace. So we'll see you back here in a few months. Well, welcome back, friends. It's been 23 weeks today that our chickens, you know, from the day we got them till today. And I was thinking that, hey, these girls aren't gonna really lay this time of the year cause it's pretty cold. And um, they'd probably be another couple of months. And actually they started laying last week at 22 weeks. So that's actually the, um, the, the predict, predicted time frame for chickens, 18 to 22 weeks. So they were right on schedule. So anyway, they started laying a couple eggs last week and they're starting to come in. They're still small because, you know, the girls are young, but these, these eggs will increase in size in the days ahead. But today we just wanted to collect up a couple of the eggs and uh, show you how they're looking. So let's go inside and do some egg stealing. Yep. <laughs> 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 yeah. So you got uh, seven eggs today. Yep, seven. So you got a, two white ones and five brown. The little leghorns are the ones that put out the white ones. Yep. We got three white leghorns. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so you give them a show, show the folks, you know, your little collection of eggs. That's today. That'll greatly increase in volume in the <laughs> next few weeks ahead. So. Yeah, we look forward to it. We haven't bought eggs in a while. <laughs> we ain't bought eggs in seven months, and I, uh, I'm looking forward to eating plenty of eggs, especially when we go fishing. I really miss the boiled eggs out there yeah, for a snack. Yeah, you love the boiled eggs. When we, <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure these are boiled so you can have them fishing. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we thank you for watching. I just we, we had fun sharing with you um, our new flock. I like the colors of the flock. They got some really beautiful colors, and we just wanted a few different breeds than what we had last time, just to just to keep things interesting. Mm -hmm. So anyway, until me and Nancy see you on the next video, we want to thank the Lord for these beautiful chickens and our beautiful eggs. So so until we see you next time, always remember. By, By his hands, we are fed. fed. Give, Give us, Lord, our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day.